What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create a great looking e-commerce website using Framer. Framer is a great website builder that has intuitive and professional tools and it's easy to use if you don't even know how to code. It's pretty uh, convenient for you to build your website. So go to framer.com here, you'll land on their homepage. And if you scroll down, you can see how modern and sleek looking the uh, homepage is. And you get a glimpse of the different features and tools that you can use here to build your website as well as some other info and other like screenshots so to get started you can go ahead to login or you can start for free so i'll click on start for free and here i can continue with google or with email i'll just continue with email so i'll enter my email right here and continue Okay, now they've sent me an, act an activation link to my inbox. I'm going to open it pretty quickly. Okay, I now I need to enter my first last name and agree to the terms of service. I'm going to do so pretty quickly. And now I'm redirected to the main navigation window. So here I can add sections or pages or elements to my website. It's pretty simple drag and drop uh, interface here. I can watch tutorials here, try a template, start from Figma if you have designs on Figma. I can import my already made website into Framer or get the desktop app. So here, let us start with a template. However, I'm going to show you how to add sections or items pretty quickly. So here, if I go to the plus here, insert, I can insert sections. So like a header, a footer and about section, images and so on. So here I have the navigation. I have, can add menus. So let's add this item right here the drop down menu so here i have menu items such as products resources community and if i tap on any of them i can go ahead and edit the alignment i can edit all types of settings right here so i'll just zoom in and go here to the product okay i double clicked on it and now if i go to product i click on it i can see here that it triggers a link to my product page so the trigger is what will happen once i click on product here now, if I click on the product page, I can see here the design, the content, publish and everything. OK, now let's exit the editor here and let's go and add a template. Of course, it has to be an e-commerce template. So these are the templates here, the new templates. And I can click here to see all templates or just uh, filter them through category. So you have, for example, business, portfolio, personal agency, startup and others. Let's view all categories here. And you want to search for e-commerce or uh, store. And as you can see here, you have 75 templates of e-commerce uh, stores here. Tap on it. And you can browse the templates. And you might notice that not all of them are free. Some are paid. If you want to see only free templates, click here on paid on free and select free only. And you can see all the e-commerce free templates. So scroll down here to see one that you like. Let's say I like this one pretty clean straightforward the product hub click on it and i can preview it here to see how it look like in a real life example it load up in a new tab and i can see the website here i can interact with the elements and so on so for example if i click on this uh, item i can see here that i can see the description i can download the asset and so on so here let's go back and let's close this tab and let's use it for free and here I need to copy this project to my account, okay. And now I've opened the template in the editor. Now, as you can see here, I can scroll through with two fingers on my trackpad if your laptop supports this. I can zoom in or out and I can use the hand tool here to pan around and this uh, zoom option to zoom in, zoom out. And the cursor, if I need to interact with elements, and here I can view the light or dark theme. Okay, so I'll just zoom out a bit. And these are the three different views. So this is how my website will look on a desktop, on a tablet or on a phone. It's scrollable, of course. And here I'll just go with the desktop. To click on it to select it. And here I have the desktop view. I can view it. I can... Uh, edit the uh, like dimensions of the page itself okay let's undo this and let's close this pop-up and here back into the main product hub here so zooming in i can click on any text here or any section 
I can add section here in the plus icon or I can here see the settings of the section. So this is the home page. If I double click on the section, I can open it here in like a separate tab and I can select the text here to uh, change it here. Meet the new home for your digital goods. If I double click to highlight the text, let's say here digital product. So I can change the text here as you see, and I can say change also the this paragraph. So let me say awesome digital products for example and here it is so here are the menu items I can tap on them to see the option so I have all free aliens animals and monsters these are the different categories if I click on any of them of course after double clicking on the section and I can move it around here change the items uh, items order and the alignment, the position, the size, and everything. And I can even add effects, overlays, and styles. And here is the free, for example, aliens, which I can see here all the hierarchy of this specific item. And so you get the point. Now, if I click on home here, I get to the home screen where I can edit other aspects. And if I go here to, this is of course the desktop uh, version, I can go to the tablet version in the dash or the home. Or the main menu and I can go to the phone uh, view as well now these are the layers these are the pages so I have different pages and these are the assets so the product here the buttons and the any other interactive aspect here the fonts the headings and all of this so if I click here on project for example I can here see the button the primary button and here are the primary buttons that are available. So the primary, the secondary, and the disabled here, how they look like. Okay. And uh, let's go back to pages and home page. As you can see here, I see it. Now, if I go here, for example, to the category page, I can see all the categories. So free, aliens, animals, and monsters. And now if you want to edit the products themselves, all you have to do is to go to this uh, menu here at the top and the this option is the CMS if you click on it here you can see all your products your free products here pro and everything so let's say I want to edit this one the monkey if I click on it I can edit the name I can edit the title I can edit the cover photo and add it to featured or no add the type compatibility here value I can add so I can add the price and here is like basically your product page where you can edit the price and uh, have a description on your products as well as preview images. So let's for example remove the cover image click to add another image choose image and choose an image from my computer. So I'll just um, have this random image add it. Okay it's now uploaded and as you can see the image changed. And if I go back here to the home screen, as you can see, the product image changed. And if I change the title and the value, you can see that they are changed as well. So that's how you can add your own product and edit your own products here on the this template on Framer. So here, once you are done, you can go ahead and publish your website, of course. And uh, you can go ahead and invite others. And you can click here to preview your website live. So this is the desktop view, this is the tablet version, and this is the phone version. Okay, looking good. And once you are happy with it, go ahead and click on publish. And here you can add a custom domain. Of course, they generate like a generic domain for you. And if you have a custom domain, you can add it here or update to create your website and pub or your e-commerce website and publish it. So that's how easy it is to create and edit e-commerce websites using Framer.